But if it was easy, it would mean nothing. I just said that in the other video, I just recorded right now. And honestly, that phrase, that quote, means so much to me. Especially when um, Top G was like, before, when he was like, to Aiden Ross, he was like, six pack, how can I get a six pack? Aiden Ross asked him a question, how can I get a six pack quick? And it was like, six pack quick? Six pack quick? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why can't it be hard and difficult and take, and take long to, uh, to achieve? That's what gives it value. That's why we as we as society, we as human beings, value six packs so much. Six packs are inherently difficult to obtain. Of course, with the uh, introduction of social media, there is thousands in which hundreds of thousands of which of people you can see with six packs, which is quite immense, and they get very very popular. However, if you exist in reality, the majority of people do not have six packs. The majority of people are not physically fit, and they don't have good physiques and bodies that they're proud of and they would like to have one which is why a bunch of people for every one person with 100k likes on a six pack on an Instagram post 100k people 90k of them are unfit if you think about that 90k of them are unfit it's quite immense if it was easy it would mean nothing listen guys everyone loves to talk about 1% of the population 1% of the population 1% of the population, 1% of people are millionaires, 1% of the, 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 they took all the money, they took everything, they, they own 8% of the income. 1% of the population, of the global population, is still 75 million people. I don't think you understand this. 1% of the population, which are billionaires, multi decamillionaires, centimillionaires, millionaires, are 75 million people. That is a shameless quantity of rich people. And then you compare it to mass, 7.5 million, that's quite immense. But 75 million though, why couldn't you be one of those 75 million people? I don't think you guys understand the magnitude of 1 million even. Everyone likes to think, oh yeah, one, 1 million, that's not a lot. Like, we, 1 million doesn't feel like a lot in this day and age. It's very weird, this paradigm we're in. 1 million doesn't feel like a lot, but 10k a month, because making 10k a month consistently was 120k a year, seems like a lot. What the fuck? So what is a lot? What isn't a lot? You gladly pay a million for a house, but 10k a month, a cash flow, with 120k a month a year, is it too much? You know how long a year is? As you get older, your time in which a, uh, the, uh, of the effect of a year has on you dissipates. Why? For a 40 year old person, when they turn 41, it isn't as significant as a 16 year old turning 17. Why? Because a 16 year old turning 17 is still going through a like growth student transitional period in his life where he's trying to learn, he's trying to grow, he's trying to study. Da, 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 da. Whereas a 40 year old person turning 41 is already at, already feels like, still young in my opinion, but already feels like, yeah, I'm going to life. Yeah, I've got kids and a, and a wife, or I've got a husband and kids, and they're gonna go to school, I've got to work to provide for them. Oh, yeah, I've got like five hours when I come home. Like, literally, a lot, a lot of these people that I see are 40, 50, 45, why are they losers? They have like five, three, four, five hours like, of free time of the day. They don't need to work. What do they do to spend that time doing? Watching movies. Movie marathon! Binge watch movies! And I'm not like shit on movies there. Alright, guys? Uh, a movie a week, a movie a month. That's moderation to me. That's why I feel like it should be moderation. That's why I feel like it should be accepted as a norm. If you're watching a movie marathon, movie marathon, 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 you often can make it difficult for yourself to even appreciate the movie. You need to give yourself time to like distance yourself from the other person so you can actually miss them. And in this case, movies, right? A lot of people I know that are 40, 45, 30, 50, they have a bunch of fucking free time on their hands. They just have. Excuses upon excuses upon excuses. Oh, it's difficult, Jimmy. You don't understand. It is it? All that time you spent texting and commenting on my videos. Oh yeah, Jimmy, you're a retard, you're an asshole. You're incoherent. You're stupid. You're, you're an idiot. May God bless you. Oh, you're an asshole. All that time you spent on, your, on my videos, you could have spent on learning, on growing, on reading books, on studying up, trying to start that business, trying to focus on yourself. You never. Your passion project that actually pays. The passion project is only worth something if it pays. 
you're purely doing it for the non-profit and you're already rich, fine. But if you're doing it and you're broke, and, it's, and like, you need to worry about, you need to worry about bills, bro. If you're doing a passion project and you're broke, bro, you have better priorities. That need to be addressed on hand. You're fucking broke. If it was easy, it would mean nothing. And I've gone on a massive tangent there, and I forgot my original point. I need an example. I need to put on a six pack. The six pack from the majority of people on the planet Earth. One percent people. I want to talk about as well. One percent people is seventy-five million people. Five percent of people is four hundred million people. Five percent people are all millionaires. That top five percent, all millionaires, all top earners, top achievers. That's a shameless quantity of people. That's almost like a fucking billion, of half of a billion. What's 10%? 800 million people. 15? 1.2 billion people. The top 50% of, uh, of people is 1.2 billion people based on that math of 5% of people with 400 million people. You can Google that yourself. I Googled that a while back. So it could have increased or decreased by them. I don't know. I'm not sure. I will not like logic. 5%, 5%, 400 million. Not 5%, 1.2, or 1.2 million, billion. That's one seventh of the population. Why can't you rise to be one better than one percent of the population? Why? What's lacking? Everyone around you with a nice Audi, car, and Mercedes, and finance. That twenty grand they spent on the finance Porsche, you could spend on your business. The time they spend partying, having fun, and trying to raise up a girl, a 4 a five or 10 a girl, a 4 or 10 white girl, it's a fucking pub. You can still work on your business. Head to the ground. Grinding. What have you done instead? Remember. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that in the last message. <laughs> Remember. If it was easy, it would mean nothing. Tell you guys next video. Man, this is so therapeutic. So I'm ready for ready to go. Do I look ugly? Guys, leave a comment down below. Leave a dislike even. Leave a dislike guys. It really helps the channel. And leave, don't even subscribe, unsubscribe from my channel guys. And leave a hate comment. Jimmy, you are a stupid Asian, you suck, yep. That really hurts. <laughs> Oi! My cusky glass. There's a. Did you hurt my dad you? Oh my god, you're so fluffy. Oh my god. I think I'm getting lost. Your heart's being really heavy. Why do your heart always beat so much when I've done this a million times? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, meow? Yeah. I love cat hair. It makes me difficult. It makes me breathe harder, you know? I'm just dying. Catch you guys in the next video. See we. See we. No, that's not, that's not it. Oh, remember, hard work is easy for me. Goodbye. Why is this just frozen, bro? NPC cat, but it's so dark in this room. Why does me blow my nose, bro? Should I hit the 10 minute mark, guys? The YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Ooh, dude, bogeys. It's natural, dude. Uh, I don't care about bogeys, I just want to breathe. I just want to rock. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. 30 seconds, guys, 10 minutes. Oh my god, guys, YouTube guys, by the way, if you go in the link in the description below and use code ASIAN, you'll get 10% off protein powder. That doesn't even work. Creatine? No, it's anabolic. Banana powder. The newest shit, anabolic banana powder. You don't guys don't understand, man. I'm watching sunset actually. <sighs> Big old.
gonna. I was gonna. Word. I was gonna. I don't sign up MG. Hope no one. Bro, imagine someone DDoSes me and just find my address. Please don't do that. Please don't. I want to make another video, but I'll tap it. I'll tap into it, into this video a bit. I'll give you the title, but it was quite surreal to me. Was you making these videos recently? The fact is, is that these videos will probably last longer than me. Within the next hundred years, I don't doubt I will die. Hundred years, I'll be 117. No way I live that long, unless some form of immense, you know, genetic altering phenomenal technology comes out. I'll probably die. Video long, it's not longer than me. I saw that video where I got delved into like deeper in that topic, but it's quite, it's quite shocking. Everyone I know will be dead. If I don't have kids, I have no legacy. I'm not even sure how they come out. And in 30 years, which is 2060, right now it's no, it's 2023. What the fuck am I saying? 30 years, well, it's 2053. 30 years, 30 years yeah, 2053, almost 2016. That's like 37 years. No, let's just think of 30 years. I'm, I'm going to be 47. Oh, will I even be alive then? Probably. Oh, have my shit together financially? Probably. Family, kids, life. I'm going to look back. I'm going to make one of them videos where you're like the youngest version of yourself, talks to the older version of yourself. It's quite, quite interesting to me how those videos work out. Every single day I see the sunset, I just think to myself, life is so finite, bro. I think so, wow, oh, cringe, haha, <laughs> cringe. Look, this guy's being fucking philosophical, emotional. But everything around me, everything around me will be destroyed one day. Everything will change. So they knew me. I might get reincarnated. I hope I get reincarnated. I just. I feel like I've already been reincarnated. This is why I, I am this way. I'm like to say Asian agitate, Asian agitate. I think from a very young age, because of my Asian family, I've been this way. Ruthless. Completely ruthless my own self development and harsh myself. And not only recently, it's been easily like, translated into more extreme versions, driven version, motivated version of myself. I. Really, I can't. Like, the sky is breathtaking. I really, I was thinking some deep shit right now. Not just negative thoughts, but like, I really want my parents to be proud of me before they pass. I really want my grandparents to see how successful I will become. Because within the next, like, no, they, they'll probably. I'm not going to say this is harsh, but they'll probably, I have like 20 years, 20 years until like they become like, and then when they are like in 20 years, they'll probably be like old and saggy and it would just be tough for them and they, they might not remember me because my great grandma has dementia and I'm quite open about that because it happens to all of us, you know, it's natural shit, keeping secrets like that only hurts. It's heavy on the heart, bro. It's heavy on the heart, man. I just hope they'll be proud of me. Before I, and before they leave this this multiple plane, I'm quite taken aback by my lack of power as a young man. Before this video, like just went in a weird direction for a second, and it's 14 minutes as well. So fast pass the money making account, money making amount. It's not my money, man. It's my freedom. I don't feel free. I feel constantly perpetually trapped in materialism. The new, the newest shoes, the newest this, the newest that, etc., etc., etc. Recently, I went to Sports Direct, and they recently had 97s in their stores, 95s in their stores as well. They never had 95s, 97s before. 
all of the stuff and they had them and I tried them on they looked really good that's just what I think it's just a logo this is a shoe it's leather it's plastic it's bowls what am I doing this for? what am I doing this for? honestly the only justifiable spend that I have in my mind is food like food without food you can't you die but anything else like I feel kind of guilty to spend on unless I really don't want it need like my candle lighter my shoes which I need I need new pairs that's about it I think anyone sending hate to this video like oh this video was so stupid I had no direction bro we're all gonna die one day what are you doing this text next year we didn't copy that shit Quite. Quite Why is this video? It went from it was easy, it means nothing, super driven to me being emotional and philosophical. Well, this is this is also part of me, guys. I, I don't think I don't think this topic in this part of me enough. You just see the ultra motivating how to do this, how to do that. Grind, 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 grind head to the stone. And I agree with that wholeheartedly, but I do admit sometimes your efforts feel futile. And some things like these videos, they mean so much to me. I hope my grandkids watch my videos, honestly. And you see that I went through trial and tribulation just like them. I'm just like them. I look like them. I don't see issues like them. I struggle like them. Sadness, I cry like them. I came over and then hopefully they'll see me as the cool granddad who was a YouTuber back in the day and super rich and I want to take his money I hope he's in, I'm in his will which is so weird I hope my grandma get, honestly I hope my grandma gives me money when she dies but I hope she just, just doesn't die you know what I'm saying I'd rather my grandparents just not die at all I'll trade all the money for it, you know, for them. I remember I said something before that really resonated with them and they really liked. And I said, please stay alive. And like, I was I showed a bit of money I made. Three thousand. And I was like, yes, I got results now. But it, I know it isn't enough and the time threshold. I made this in X amount of time. I made like I felt like she's transparent. Should I tell you guys? I'll catch you guys in the next video. No. Nah, I don't think I should tell you guys. Until we reach to one hundred subscribers. I'll give you an example, I made like 10k in four months. Very fucking near what I made. <laughs> I would say 10k in four months. And they were like, yes, but it took you four months. And I was like, you should need you make and then that's not entirely because it's income and this is that. And I felt pissed for a second, I was like, yeah but what but when I get it's because it's income and you're gonna I'm gonna show you. But then they're completely right and they're speaking out of a place of love and worry and I'm speaking out of a place of rush and one impressing them. And I want them to be like, whoa, this kid knows his shit. This kid is intelligent. And I want them to be proud of me. So what I asked of them was stay alive in the next five years. And they probably will until so they stay the same in the next five years. I'll be an older looking. And I hope to become rich, make them proud. I shed a tear before uh, last year. One of my three times I cried, and it was like a big cry, it was like a like an emotional outburst, which I hadn't felt in a while. Cause I've just been going life kind of robotic, do work, do this, do that, focus on this, this and that. I've gone through the life robotic. I've just forgotten how to be sad. You can't be sad. You can't be happy without being sad, right? You need juxtaposition. You need parallels in your life. I just cried and said, I'm gonna make you proud of my mom. I'm not crying. I'm gonna make you proud of my mom. I gotta make this business shit work. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I'm really pushing myself. Man has to work. Man has to earn. Man is built. He has no goal. Any trust fund baby, any person who's born into wealth, is always missing that one thing. One thing that separates them from other self built driven, hungry, successful men around them. 
vehicle that is. So they feel like they don't earn it, they haven't earned it. For an adequate. They lack that drive. It's like these, all these princes, like Prince Harry or whatever, I don't know, Prince Williams, had they been normal people, commoners, they would have ended up being commoners, working a shitty job, the influence of that environment, and most likely, in all senses, not successful, fiscally. But because they were born into the royal family, they get to reap the rewards of their ancestors before and do whatever the fuck they want in their lives. And having a life like that is all good in the beginning, but if you lack a sense of value for the money in the Asian culture, like we value money so much, people are like, why are you so obsessed with, culture, with money? Well, because money buys freedom. Because money means I can do whatever the fuck I want. Asian Andrew Tate, no, I've always been like this. It just seeped out more recently with the introduction of Andrew Tate, of course. And with the introduction of my own self improvement journey, which began with Berserk. The manga Berserk it began with that. I saw Guts on his journey, his pilgrimage, to try to avenge his. Um, to avenge himself, and he kind of. See, he started crying recently, which is crazy, I understand, but I saw him when he was like, in shape and shit, he was a man, stoic, he was that guy, strong, everyone looked up to him, full of scars, lost an arm, I also looked up to him, I said, I want to be like him, I want to be like Guts, 